Hi everyone, it's Juliana here and today I have a design to share with you guys using the Tea Time Prima collection. As you guys all know, it's my favorite collection right now so I absolutely love working with it. And I created this teapot sign here and this is for um, hopscotchcrafts.com and Drew carries a bunch of awesome paper lines and a lot of Prima goodness in his store. So I had so much fun working with my design team package and I put this together as well. Um, this is a teapot. It's actually a wood teapot that I had purchased at Michael's when they were having those wood signs and all. So I believe I got this one on clearance on, on sale a couple weeks ago. So it was a really good deal. And um, I thought that it would go really, really well with the Tea Time collection. So um, this is what I created. It's kind of very vintage, shabby chic. I, I was going more for like more vintage than anything. Um, and what I did is I just applied one of the pages from the collection and you can find this paper in his store and so I just glued it all the way around the teapot and I also made a couple of little cutouts where I included some other paper from the collection and some vintage toilies so there's like a cutout over here on the right and um, also there's a big cut over here just to give it a little bit more of texture to the sign and then um, I added a bunch of Prima flowers. So for this one right here, I created my own um, fabric flower, kind of like a rose. And then I used the Prima flower as my flower center. And I, I love, love these flowers, you guys. I think they go really well with the uh, Tea Time collection there. And then um, here are some little cutouts of doilies that just kind of placed it on the right side. There is some of this pearl trim and two of the Prima flowers these are new by Prima as well really gorgeous so they're kind of holding the pearl necklace there's a little bit of movement in the sign and then um, also applied this um, digital image image here that I had of this family drinking some tea and so I thought it was perfect for um, what I was going for so all I did is I just glued it and then I embellished it with a couple of more Prima flowers and you can find all of these flowers in his store as well. Um, I tuck in some more um, pieces of doilies and on, right here on the right side. I did some fussy cutting also from the Tea Time collection. And then here I use um, the Prima alphabets and it says tea is a cup of life. So I thought this coat was going really really well with the image there. So um, on the bottom, I just added some muslin fabric, some green shabby chic seam binding. I really love this color and it's like the perfect color for the Tea Time collection. And so um, again, I added some ruffles to my flowers. I always do and I really, really love the look because it makes it look more shabby chic and vintage. Um, and then over here on the left, I just added a seam binding bow. Um, in green as well so there's a lot of kind of like shabby greens and um, pinks and all and the cool thing about this is it also has the handle it comes with the teapot wood sign so it's kind of just ready to hang up so that's what that looks like I had so much fun creating this and I'll put the link of his store below for you guys to check it out and also I'll put the link of my blog if you guys want to see more close-up pictures of these um, of this sign. So I hope you guys like this project. It's a little bit different, but um, I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. And I'll see you all soon. And please be sure to check out the store. He has some amazing shipping prices, you guys, and a variety of other collections and flowers and stamps and embellishments and much more. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.